impressed me in Kreuzberg. And here, looking through the windows, is how rigorous and systematic is the whole of facades with the rhythm of windows um, repeated along the street uh, with uh, sometimes a kind of explosion in the angle. And that impression uh, moved me for the design of that building. Also in the angle there is uh, something special and the rest is modulation. During the construction uh, there was uh, much polemic about this building, but uh, in general you know that Iba was divided in two parts. One centered in Kreuzberg, which then people called the, the Iba Puer. And the, the strategy of the director, a great man, we call Professor Hammer, uh, he wanted the, the dialogue with the, the population. Uh, most people were Turkish people that had come for reconstruction, helping to reconstruction. There were, in that time, 100,000 uh, Turkish in Berlin. So he defended dialogue with them, uh, with the idea of integration. And uh, he preferred to recuperate, because much of the situation before the war was still there. So recuperation, sometimes to rebuild, but mostly recuperation. There were some points where the building had fallen and then the new interventions would make a proposal. And uh, not everybody agreed with this strategy. I agreed. And I think he invited me because in Portugal I had been involved after the revolution in 74. Problems for the most uh, poor people living, in that case in Porto, uh, to, to build for them, to take them for the very small houses where they lived, called the Idas Islands, houses with four and a half by four and a half in the interior of the block. So once Peter Brinker, the, the architect, in Berlin, uh, took me in the airport in the evening, late evening, and I knew the building had been painted. So for the first time I would see with the windows and with the color, and I asked Peter, I want to go immediately to Kreuzberg. He said, no, better to come tomorrow. And he did not want to take me, and I said, no, no, I, want, I must see today. And then I understood the reason. He was preoccupied because had appeared the graffiti, Bonjour Tristesse. And there were people saying that I myself had put it there. Well, time passed and the graffiti stayed there. When I began studies, I wanted to be not architect, but sculpture. But my family did not find a good idea, and so I began with architecture, uh, thinking of moving quietly to sculpture. But then I was interested by architecture. The school in Porto was in a very interesting period of transformation a formulation of the curse, so I became architect. And uh, I continued, I went on drawing much because I like, because it was part of my education, and also be became, uh, I understood it became a very good instru instrument of work. Because a sketch is something very quick, you can make very quick, you can test 
this idea or that and make a selection and everything is quick and is open. You are not fixed in an idea, but you can make a, a kind of exploration and see this or this or this or this and transmit to people that work with you and uh, uh, make that together with uh, rigorous drawings, with models. Uh, so it is another instrument for work, uh, very good as a complement of the others. No way of going on with projects is enough. We must make a combination of different ways of research that is, becomes very free and open. Music has so much to see with architecture, but not only music, painting, sculpture, ballet, everything, all forms of art are related with architecture. And architecture, many, for many people, is not considered an art. But at least sometimes architecture is an art, is of same family, speaking of family, of architecture is paintings, cinema also very much. You see, when someone makes a film, director of a film, uh, takes the camera and follows, makes movement, follows, chooses different angles, uh, organize a parkour, can make a traveling, long traveling, or can film very near the face of someone. So, rhythm, difference of rhythm, the idea of parkour, of movement. And uh, like that, we work with architecture. Uh, we have to relate the different areas of a project. You design a hole and you know that is the preparation to enter the building and that before, after comes another room or a corridor and uh, maybe we decide the ceiling to be low in the atrium and then entering uh, to have a, a high ceiling, uh, this sensation of space of entering in a whole room. Mm? Or can be the opposite, we can enter in a big room, by different reasons we can consider that a good solution, and then you pass a door and you have a no COVID and so. It's the same way that works a uh, director of films. Uh, there is always this uh, uh, thing of movement, uh, succession of spaces, giving different emotional sensations according to the use of that building and according to what people that will live there, if we know who are, how they like to live, the needs they have. So there is all these relations. Architecture is not a special need. Uh, architecture deals with everything that happens in space.